Hello, hello, and today I'm making a new video. Today I'm going to talk about a book haul, do a book haul that I am overdue of. So I'm going to talk. Some of these books I received from publishers um, and giveaways, and other ones I have received. This one I received as a gift, and another one I borrowed. So the first book I have here is Spoiler Alert. And I believe this one is a romance. It's super good. I love that cover. Who does not? And this is about a girl. I believe she's overweight. And I believe this is um like um fan fiction stuff like that. It's like a fan. Fan stuff, fan stuff. So it looks like if they have a so girl, you know, what you call it, um, like episode thing. Whoa. And this looks you super see? awesome. So well, this is about girl right. who, um, it says Marcus Castro Rump has a secret. A While the world knows him as Avius, the star of the biggest show on television, God of the Geek. He's known to fanfic readers as a book Annis would never. An enormous and popular Peter poster. Marcus is able to get out his own frustrations with his characters through his stories, especially the one that feature the internet's favorite couple to ship. Ari's and Levana, but if anyone has ever found out about his online personnel, he'll be fired immediately. April Whittaker has secrets of her own, a hardcore Levian fan. She's hidden her fan fake and cosplay hobby from her real life for years, but not anymore. When she decides to post the latest Levian creation on Twitter, her photo goes viral. Trolls and supporters alike are commenting on her plus size cake. But when Marcus, one half of her OPC, sees her pick and asks her on out on a date and spice her first crisis, she realized life is really stranger than fan fiction. Even though their first date is a disaster, Marcus quickly realizes that he wants so much more from April than a one time publicity stunt. And when he discovers she's actually unapologetic, unapologetically of fans, first his fans and friends, he has one huge, huge secret to hide from her. With love and Marcus's career on the line, can the two of them stop hiding once and for all? The raw match may defend them, and they're permanently, prematurely cancelled. So, Yes, I received this from Avon Books, and this comes out um, in October. So, yeah. um, the next book I received is Hench by Natalie Zinn Walshcroft. And this one is a science fiction, and this art is probably already out. Let me turn this down. Here, B, have a sip of your soda before I give you some fries. Mmm, yummy. Mmm, yummy. It's not a or... Okay, I wanna. I can hear that louder, even though it's like 18. Anyway, Pinch by Natalie Zinn Walsh Fox. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, it says, um,. Anna does boring things for terrible people because even criminals need office help. She needs a job, and she needs a job working for a monster looking beneath the surface of the world of the world isn't glamorous. But is it really worse than working for an oil commodity or an insurance company? In this economy, as a temp, she's just cog in the machine. But when she finally gets a promising assignment, everything goes very wrong. An encounter with a so-called hero leaves her badly injured. And to her horror, compared to other bodies down the 
about other bodies thrown about. She's the lucky one, so of course. Then she gets laid off with no money and no more mobility with, with her only anger in internet research acumen. She discovers her suffering in the hands of the hero is far from unique. When people start listening to the story that her data tells, she realizes she might not be as powerless as she thinks. Because the key to everything is data, knowing how to collaborate it, how to manipulate it, and how to weaponize it. By tallying up the human cost, these caped forces of a natured wreck upon the world. She discovers that the line between good and evil is mostly marketing, and with social media um, and viral videos, she can control that appearance. It's not too long before she's employed once more, this time by what the one, one of the world's worst villains on Earth. As she becomes an increasingly valuable lieutenant, she might just save the will. A sharp, witty, modern debut, Hans explores the individual cost of justice through a fascinating mix of millennium office politics, heroism measured through data science, body horror, and a profound misunderstanding of quantum mechanics. So yeah, this person actually, um, she plays a lot of D&D, which is awesome, and in Nordic Lark. Awesome. Um, so I'm excited to read this one. This one is probably already out. It says 920. And it's by Morrow or William something Morrow. Let me look. Because it probably says... It is... I, I can't see. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, yeah, William Morrow. Mo w William Morrow. So this is by William Mar Mar Morrow Publishers. So um, thank you for that. The next book I got for my birthday, which was August 19th. And this one was uh, clearly corruption. This one I got from my mom. This is by Taylor Ann Bunker. And the first one I rated, I think, is four stars. So I decided to put this one on my radar. It is a short book. But yeah. Um, Victor has everything he wanted after defeating the Witch of Beth's Hollow. But when clearly screams suddenly echo through the night, her eyes are open to the truth. The Witch has other plans. Clearly it's corrupted, and if that wasn't enough, the Witch ha was, has possessed her. Working relentlessly to live again in Clearly's body, Victor and his friends must find a way to stop her before the rise of the blood moon, which is less than a month away. If they fail, everything Victor has worked so hard for to achieve will have been will have been for naught and much more than Clearly's life has been lost. So really excited to read that. Um, another kind of fantasy type book. We also have Lord of the Floods, which I borrowed from my sister. I wanted to read that at some point. Um, she compared this to like the coronavirus. So I don't know. So let's read the, the back. When Lord of the uh, Flies appeared in 1954, it received un- Predicized reviews for a first novel. Critics use phases as beautiful, written, tragic, and provocative, vivid and enthralling. This beautiful and desperate book, completely convincing and often very frightening. Its process is magnificent, like a fragment of a nightmare, a dizzy climax of terror. The terrible book, this terrible spell of this book. Ian Forrester chose it as an outstanding novel of the year. Time and Tide touched upon perhaps the most important facet of this book when it said, it is not only the first great adventure story, but a parable of our time. In articles on this and subsequent um, 
Golden Golden Novels has stressed this these twin aspects of Golden. A consummate control of the novel form and a superb, superb all encompassing vision of reality which communicates itself with a power remnant of con Conrad. Um, so, this is about, like, I think boys that get stranded on a deserted island and, um, and they have to learn how to survive. I have not seen the movie. And I've only, like, I think done, like, the notes and themes, so I know heavily of the notes and themes, but yes, really wanting to read this. It'll be good. Um, the next one is A Most Princess, English Princess by Claire Mc, McHugh. This is a beautiful cover. And this is a, um, um, comes out this year. It's already out. Um, but I haven't read this one yet. It's a big book. Um, but it says, To the world, she was Princess Victoria, a daughter of a queen, wife of an emperor, and mother of Kizel Wil Wilhelm. Her family just called her Vicky, smart, pretty, and self-assured. She changed the course of the world. January 1858, Princess Victoria glides down the aisle of the St. James Chapel to be to the waiting arms of her beloved Fritz, Princess Frederick, heir of the powerful Queen Kingdom of Prussia. Therefore, although there is no near political match, Vicky is determined that she and Fritz will lead by example, just like her parents, Victoria and Albert had, and will bring about a liberal and united Germany. Brought up to believe in the righteousness of her cause, Vicky nevertheless struggles to survive in the constrained Prussian courts, where each day she seems to take a wrong step. And her status as an eldest, as the eldest daughter of Queen Victoria, does little to smooth over the conflicts she faces. But handsome, gallant Prince is always by her side as they navigate court intrigue and challenge the cunning Chancellor Otto von Bismarck while fighting for their throne. In the soul of a nation, at home they endure tragedy, including their son, Wilhelm, rejecting all they stand for. Claire McHugh tells the enthralling and riveting story of the, this most English princess. From her younger years, as the apple of her father's outward eye, through her rise to power on top the mighty um, German Empire, to her final months of life. So I'm really excited to read this. This is like a story about her, and I love historical fiction. Like, love it. So I'm excited to read that. I'm excited to read all of these books, but you know. Then the next book is called The Silent Wife by Karen Salada. This is a arc. It comes out. It's already out. It was in out in July. So yeah, I got this in June, I believe. Um, but yeah, the thing it says twenty years, twenty books, only one best-selling author, Karen Salada. All he ever wanted was someone to love. He watches, he waits, he takes. Who will be his next silent wife? So that's all I want to know. I don't want to know much going into this. So I'm excited. I am going to read the first chapter of this in, during October because everything spooky is happening. And none of these are really spooky. This is spooky maybe and maybe like the witch one. But um, I'm not reading this one yet. Um, I'll be showing that to you in my next video that I post, but yeah. Um, so I'm really excited about all of these books, and, th and this one was sent to me by also William, William Morrow Publishers as well. So thank you William Morrow Publishers. 
thank you the authors and the people who run the giveaway. Thank you for all these books and thank you for my sister and my mom for giving me all those books and um, I will see you in, in another video. Um, and down below I'll link, link the um, Goodreads synopsis um, and stuff if you want to know more about the book and, and the books that I, I am hauling, I guess. These are not like, these are definitely going to be read at some point, but yeah. And I hope you have a good day. Comment down below if you what book you're for, you're excited for um, this upcoming Halloween, um, and what books you're reading um, as well. And um, comment down below, and I will see you later. Um, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.